Hello, my name is Jordan Halsey. I'm a pediatric plastic and craniofacial surgeon at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. I would like to talk to you about velopharyngeal dysfunction, what this term means, and how it can be diagnosed and managed. Velopharyngeal dysfunction is a term used to describe when the palate and pharynx, or back of the throat, are unable to function appropriately during speech. This can occur in patients with cleft palate, submucous cleft palate, 22Q and other genetic conditions, and neuromuscular conditions. Children with velopharyngeal dysfunction, or VPD, are unable to make certain sounds that require oral pressure, and they oftentimes sound very nasal due to the excess of nasal air that escapes during speech production. This can make their speech unintelligible and lead to insecurity around peers and difficulties in school due to challenges with communication. At JHACH, our multidisciplinary cleft and craniofacial team follows all children with cleft and non-cleft related velopharyngeal dysfunction to ensure that they are plugged in to speech therapy and are able to be evaluated by our surgeons for possible need for surgical intervention. Prior to any surgery, children would undergo imaging evaluation to look at how their palate interacts with their posterior pharynx or back of the throat. This may be with an x-ray speech study, an MRI, or an interactive speech examination while a small camera is passed into the throat from your nose called nasopharyngoscopy. If this confirms that a gap exists where too much air is able to escape during speech, surgery may be indicated. The surgical plan is personalized for every child depending on their surgical history, the size of the gap that's present, and its location. These surgeries take anywhere from one to three hours and involve an overnight stay in the hospital for observation. Foods will need to be restricted to a liquid form for three to four weeks until the patient is cleared to return to regular foods by their surgeons. Our team continues to follow patients with a VPD history to ensure that their speech improves as expected and that any other concerns are addressed. We look forward to meeting your child if there are any speech concerns to see if our multidisciplinary team can help to improve their communication throughout childhood.